Hello, it's me again. I'm going to show you how to run the uh, DeepStream ResNet 10 Cafe model in Digits. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the Digits container from NVIDIA and get that running. There's instructions how to do that. They, they, those instructions are better than me trying to show you how to do it. And then the next thing you do, you need to do is you need to uh, get the primary detector nano file out of DeepStream because we're going to use uh, the weights in here. And uh, what you do is uh, you need to take the weights and put it in the location that the, the, the NVIDIA Docker container can get to. That's what we're going we're gonna to use. So once you get that there, I've already, I've already kind of done all the, most of the work. So what I've done is I have a GitHub uh, uh, account and I put all the, the uh, I've already run the model once through there and I've got the, the, the model and it, it, it's the, uh, I've taken the, the TechNec uh, model and I've combined it with the original uh, DeepStream prototext file. And I was able to get them to run. I, I still have a little issues that maybe you guys could work off, work out, and I'll I'll point those out to you. But other than that, it, it runs pretty good. Now I've also included weights. I originally used the um, uh, deep stream weights to start this out, and then I did 300 epochs. So you can either use that one, or you can use these weights right here. Uh, so what I did is I've got it. I just used the regular old kitty database. Um, and this is the, the shape of it. Have you noticed the shape here? Just keep in mind the shape. Because it's not the shape the prototext is in. But it'll do the conversion. And I've do, done 300 epochs. This is 30, but this is 300. And these are all the other settings I've done. Now, I've used the exponential decay as my learning rate, and I think it's set it at 0.95, something like that, or 0.095. Um, and then uh, this is the, the network. As you can still see, it's, at, it's 480, 272 is the, 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 the custom network that, that we've built. And if you take a good look at, um, this is what it looks like. This is the original from the DeepStream model right here and then I was I had I took the detect neck part of it and tweaked it until I got these two to run together as you can see there's four classes and a lot of tweaking so I I would I I, uh, I highly recommend taking the model that's in the github account and put it in the visualizer because you guys can see like what's going on and I, I recommend tweaking the heck out of it do whatever you want with it So, this is where I started, and this is uh, it running, it took about 5 hours, this is 66% done. As you can see, I didn't get any return for my precision or map, but uh, it, it's, it's, you can see it's learning. This is the, the learning rate curve. This is an epoch one hundred ninety seven. Oh, I like to go back to here. As you can see back here, that's my pre trained weight. I'm using the ResNet ten Cafe model weights, so they work just they work just fine with this. And then here's the other one. This is when it was done. Took five hours. You know, and here's the our loss and accuracy chart. I mean, I didn't see it move much. Learning rate. Epoch 300. By the way, when I was done, I uh, downloaded the model, and that's what's in the GitHub repo. And then here's here's the final results. So I ran a picture through it. Now this is the the kitty uh, uh, database pictures. Now if you notice, there's a car, and there's a person on a bicycle right there. Okay. <clears throat>
And see, these are my bounty box lists. Have you notice there's four classes? Now, it didn't pick anything up. I mean, I got to do that's the, the gold. That's the, the issue uh, I've got, but it is it is seeing it, but I'm not getting it into, like, the, the accuracy yeah, thing. As you can see, because here's the, as we go down the model, so it's picking things up. This is the model working. Are all the layers. And uh, as you go down, these are all the layers. There's a. Uh, Wait till we get to the bottom, and I'll show you kind of the, the issue I'm having. So it's it's the layers are working. Everything is working, and it actually is picking out the the objects. So we just keep going, keep going, and we get down to the bottom. Let me speed this up a little. Uh, here we go. <coughs> So we get to the bounding boxes and you can see it's it's uh this is what it looks like. And then we get to the uh, the, the the convolution here and it's picking everything up and then my coverage it see there's the cars it picked out the cars and if you look there's there's a little thing that's the person. So it did pick them out. But the issue I'm having is I can't pass this along to these. Now I'm sure I, I more tweaking might get it done, but that's where I'm stuck at now. But the the network it does pick out the objects and it does uh, find them. So you know uh, if we just figure out how to get those into here, you know then we'll get the bounding boxes. So maybe you guys could work on that. One thing you have to do to get this to run is uh, you have to go into the uh, since these boxes are bigger. You got to go into the uh, clustering and the mean app py and change these. These bounty boxes are originally at 50. I had to change them into 105 because uh, the 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 what's going in there was too big and it wouldn't accept it. And 105 seems to be the place where it accepts everything. And then uh, how to find these? What to find these? The changes like these were originally 50. So to get it to run, you got to do 105. Now to find these, this is the uh, command you run. This will find all the uh, the clustering.py uh, in the Docker containers. Now you got it. That'll get you to there. But what happens is in the same file, the mean file is in there, just right next to they're right next to each other. So once you find that, you should be able to get into both of them and change this. Uh, let's see. That's about it. Um, like I say, here's here's kind of what it looks like. So, like I say, I recommend uh, uh, once you load it up, uh, run the visualizer and, and see what it is, and like um, tweak on it, whatever it takes to tweak on it. Do whatever you guys want to do with it. You know, see if you can get it to run. See if you get the same results that I get. Um, but you know have at it and uh, I guess that's about it I forgot everything and then uh, if you noticed um, I was a mad scientist for Halloween and that's where my little extra brain comes from I you know I got I put a lot of work into this so I need to get a little extra use out of it so I guess you know <coughs> this will work all right, well, thank you. I hope you, uh, I'll put a link to the GitHub repo and everything where you guys can do this all yourself. And like I say, you can you can use the, the, the weights from the DeepStream model if you want to as your starting point. I would highly recommend that. Uh, thank you very much.